Hello guys, it is me, Victoria, okay? So, for today's video, I want to talk about something very personal. I've wanted to make a video about this for a while, but it's embarrassing and extremely personal and honestly makes me vulnerable. And it's something I do not like to tell anyone, alright? But I feel it could be a very interesting video topic and very useful to certain people out there, mainly guys. So, alright, this is gonna get like a bit um, sexual, so if you're not interested in that, please stop watching now, okay? So basically, you know how guys see a girl differently, heterosexual guys, I'm talking about heterosexual people in this video, alright? So, you know how heterosexual guys, they see a girl differently than, like, a girl sees herself, okay? So, let's see, let's say, like, when guys go to a strip club versus, like, when girls go to a strip club. When girls go to a strip club, they're like, woo! And I'm talking about, like, female strippers, right? They're like, woo, this is so much fun, oh my god, we love you! And, like, you're amazing! And, like, they're giggling and they're having so much fun, right? When guys go, it's kind of more serious because guys are feeling the feminine energy, if you will, a bit more strongly than women are, right? Women are thinking it's beautiful and maybe they're getting a little bit of like sexy from the girls and they're, but they're not really having the same reaction as guys are having. The guys are are hypnotized. They're being put in a trance. Their hormones have gone like insane and their hormones have given them like sex brain to the point where they're just almost out of control. Similarly, when I see a pair of boobs, I'm just like, okay, yeah, a pair of boobs, big whoop. I, very nice or whatever. Like when my boyfriend, for example, sees one, it's a totally different experience. I'm just like, I really don't get it, um, but that's kind of man goggles, you know what I'm saying? So there's a very similar thing for women seeing men, but I really believe that a lot of men have no idea that women feel this way about guys because... Maybe not everyone does to the same degree, like not all women feel this way to the same degree, but men have a sexual energy, a male energy, too, that my point is that probably only women can see and feel and reflect back to them. And that they themselves, men, cannot really feel and see it in themselves. Now, the reason I had to make this video is because some of my male friends, like, they get really dejected and down because, you know, they they have not had much luck with women. And maybe women have made fun of them in the past and said, like, they're unattractive in these certain ways. And they feel there is something defective about who they are, that they are just somehow fundamentally unattractive to women. And I myself have rejected a lot of guys, you know, back when I used to date. And I rejected a lot of guys for different reasons, okay? Maybe this one was too shy. Maybe this one was too quiet. How ironic, right? Since I'm like the shyest and quietest among us all. But um, maybe this guy, he wasn't confident enough. Maybe this guy, I didn't like his looks really that that much. Maybe this guy, he wasn't like, you know, acting cool enough or something. Um, maybe this guy, he was kind of too like, like begging and stuff. And maybe this guy, he wasn't a good kisser. All of that, all of those reasons to reject a guy did not take away from The way, how, how do I put this? All these reasons that I rejected guys, all right? I still felt each of these guys attractive power-ass guys. It's like they were doing annoying things 
and they were doing things which I couldn't accept, that my high standards or whatever at the time would not let me accept them for. But I didn't think, I didn't ever for one second forget that they were still guys, all right? And they still had and retained the power of a man. The same power that I'm talking about that, you know, a guy sees when he sees, you know, a naked woman or a really, like, sexy woman or something. All guys have that. And it's not visible to them, but it is visible to women, all right? So even when a girl's rejecting you for um, this reason, she still senses your masculine power deep down. It's just the way you're acting or whatever isn't cool. Or maybe you're not really unleashing and tapping in to the power she knows you have. And she's just like, I, I can't wait around all day. I can't deal with this. You know what I'm saying? But all guys have it. Even guys I've rejected, I have still felt and seen their attractive power. And I know that if they, almost like if they knew it was there and they knew that I liked it and they knew that I wanted it and they unleashed it or turned it on or suddenly started to bring that out more, it would be dangerous for me because then I would be vulnerable because I would be able to be manipulated and I would be kind of weak, if you know what I mean, because it's so attractive. So it would put me at like disadvantage. So I will never like, I would never point this out to a guy necessarily. I'm just like, you know what, dude, you're on your own. You figure it out because I'm not going to make myself vulnerable to tell you that I still find you attractive and I'm not going to tell you how you could bring it out of yourself. For example, um, I had this male friend, all right, and I rejected him. Um, we were dating. One time he got really angry at me in like a joking way, all right? And he really let like his masculine power that I always sensed under the surface out. And I got really turned on. But of course I did not tell him that, okay? But if he knew that and he knew that, you know, he could bring that out more, he could use that against me. So what is this masculine power? Um, it, it's, it's difficult to put, you know, words to it, but it's, it's an energy that all men have that's extremely powerful. It's raw. It's rough. It's the power of... There's this book, Mode 1, okay? And it's kind of talking about this. I, I recommend you all read it. Basically, it said, if every man took a truth serum and he said exactly what he thought and he did exactly what he wanted and he kind of didn't give a fuck anymore. Um, and he said brutal brutal, um, yeah, brutal, I guess, raw honesty about girls, like, you know, instead of just being like, you're beautiful, if what he was really thinking was like, oh my god, I would love to just, like, throw you down on this couch and fuck you right now, or whatever, and it's, like, kind of raunchy and dirty, but that was what he was honestly feeling, that is attractive, all right? If he's angry, and he acts angry, that is attractive. It's this power that men have that's just like maybe like if you're a guy watching this you can understand it from the reverse perspective like are there certain things that women do and you're just like oh my god like I am at your mercy it's the same for girls with guys certain things they do so my point in this video is always know and always remember that even if you're being rejected by a girl, that doesn't mean that you're fundamentally unattractive. She knows you're a guy still, okay? And all guys have this fundamental attractiveness to women. It's just that a lot of times these guys are, they don't know how to bring it out. And women aren't going to help them because that makes women vulnerable.
So what do you think of this video? I hope you understand what I'm saying. And please, I'd love to hear any thoughts. Thank you and good night. You know, guys, I think it's very important that as all guys, you need to understand that you have to stay in your masculine frame. This is what she's talking about, even though she couldn't really describe it the way she wanted to. It's that masculine frame. This is what women are attracted to. They're not attractive to that weak type of attitude, and they're not going to tell you where you're doing wrong. They're not going to tell you how to improve. They're not going to tell you how to show that to them, because as women, they know that you're just... You're just hey, that wraps up this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it's very important to... um. Hey, thanks for watching this video recap. Hey, you know, I think it's very important for all men to understand that they really need to stay in their masculine frame. And you have to understand it as men. Um, <clears throat> hey, I think it's very important for all men to stay in their masculine frame. I think you can clearly see from this video as she's describing, this is what she's talking about, this masculine frame that uh, women are attracted to and they see. Um, I don't necessarily agree that men don't know. I just think that some men have it more than other men. And I think that that gap is very vast. I think it's, it's just a very big gap. I think more men are more sensitive and more feminine and more giving because this is what the media and, and everything is. Other women have conditioned him to, them to be rather. Um, and I think that she points out the fact that women are just not deep down attracted to that. You know, you would think, see, a good guy, like the example that she gave with the, hey, you're pretty or you're beautiful versus I just want to take you home and, and go to pound town. The nice guy will think that that's rude. The nice guy doesn't understand that that is something that really turns women on. You see what I mean? Now, I know there are going to be women in the comments say, that doesn't turn me on. That's wrong, this and that. But biologically, it turns you on. That rough around the edge type of guy turns you on. You know, not that weak guy that's asking you to help him out to show him how to be a masculine man. It, it, it doesn't work. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.